welcome to online lecture series in organic chemistry and we are going to discuss or we are discussing the formation of coordination compounds on the basis of molecular orbital theory now in this video i am going to discuss the formation of hexafluoro cobaltate 3 ion on the basis of molecular orbital theory in this octahedral complex cobalt is the central atom and there are six fluoride ligands occupying the corners of octahedron the cobalt atomic number 27 its electronic configuration is argon 37 4s2 4p0 so in this octahedral complex oxidation state of cobalt is plus 3 and therefore in plus 3 oxidation state its configuration will be argon 3d6 4s0 4p0 now molecular orbital diagram of hexafluoro cobaltate 3 ion it is similar to the molecular orbital diagram of hexafluoro ferrate 2 ion because the ligand is the same that is fluoride and number of like electrons present in d orbital are also equal in fe2 plus there are six electrons in 3d orbital whereas in co3 plus there are six electrons in d orbital so molecular orbital diagram of both the complexes that is hexafluoroferrate 2 ion and hexafluorocobaltate 3 ion it is same now total number of electrons in this complex to be accommodated in bonding and anti bonding molecular orbitals are 18 out of 18 electrons 6 electrons are contributed by cobalt 3 plus and 12 electrons are contributed by 6 ligands now here energy increases from bottom to top these are the orbitals of cobalt 3 that is 3d 4s 4p now to the right side ligand group orbitals of fluoride there are six ligand group orbitals summation a summation x summation y summation z summation z square summation x square minus y square and at the center molecular orbitals of hexafluoro cobaltate 3 ion now already you know how to uh, construct the bonding and anti bonding molecular orbital at the bottom there are bonding molecular orbitals at the top of this diagram there are anti bonding molecular orbitals whereas t2 g orbitals not involved in the bonding process that is sigma bond process these are suitable for the formation of pi bond and therefore these orbitals remain as a non bonding so, and the energy gap between t2 g and e g star it is delta o o stands for octahedral now we try to fill the electrons this is the first electron you know there are six electrons in 3d orbital so this is the first second third fourth fifth and sixth and each of the ligand group orbital it is it is completely filled all together there are 12 electrons in ligand group orbitals so 12 plus 6 that is 18 all together 18 electrons are there and when we start filling the bonding and anti bonding group orbital with 18 electron then first electron enter in this sigma s orbital first of all bonding or orbitals are filled like this and up to eg level number of electrons are 12 now 13th electron enter in dxy this is the 14th and 15th now t2g level is singly occupied but here you can see the energy gap that is delta o it is smaller and therefore we get high spin complex and the 16th electron enter in eg star that is sigma star x square minus y square orbital this is the 16th electron this is 17th and 18th electron now paired with the electron of dxy here total number of unpaired electrons are 4 and the complex is high spin complex or spin free complex and it is strongly paramagnetic and highlighting points about this complex uh, there are 18 electrons 12 electrons are filled in 
bonding group orbitals and six electrons are distributed in T2G and EG star orbitals. In this hexafluorocobalt uh, 3 ion, delta O is less, which is attributed to lesser extent of overlap between EG orbitals of metal and the suitable ligand group orbitals. In this complex, four unpaired electrons are present and complex is strongly paramagnetic. This is high spin complex. Now next complex, this is the hexacyano ferrate 2 ion. Again iron is the central atom, its configuration is atomic number 26, configuration is argon 3d6, 4s2, 4p0. In this complex, oxidation state of iron is plus 2 and therefore in plus 2 oxidation state, configuration of Fe2 plus is argon 3d6, 4p0. Again altogether there are 18 electrons, 6 plus 12. 6 ele electrons are contributed by Fe2 plus and 12 electrons by 6 ligands. The molecular orbital diagram again energy increases from bottom to top to the left side metal orbitals of ferrous ion 3d 4s 4p to the right side these are the ligand group orbitals of cyanide 6 cyanide ligands are there and at the center molecular orbitals of the hexacyano ferrate 2 ion and these are the bonding and anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Now altogether there are 18 electrons the, the uh, and 6 electrons present in 3D orbital and 12 electrons present in ligand group orbitals. So this is the first electron in 3D orbital, second, third, fourth and fifth and sixth. Now ligand group orbitals are completely filled, these are the total 12 electrons present in all these 6 ligand group orbitals, so 6 plus 12 that is 18. Again first electron enter in A1G, then T1U level is filled and then EG level is filled. So up to EG level number of electrons are 12 again, 13th electron enter in DXY that is T2G level that is in non-bonding orbital, then this is 14th, 15th. Now here the delta O it is larger and therefore instead of entering next electron in EG star electron pair up with DXY or D, uh, electron of DXY orbital and this is the <coughs> 16th electron then 17th and 18th here you can see all the electrons are paired and uh, most pro most of the electrons present in bonding orbitals bonding molecular orbitals and remaining electrons are accommodated in non-bonding orbitals. All the anti-bonding orbitals are vacant and here there is no any unpaired electron. All the electrons are paired and this complex that is hexacyanoferrate 2 ion, this complex is spin paired complex or diamagnetic complex. So remember hexacyanoferrate second ion, this complex is a diamagnetic complex very important thing now highlighting points about this complex are there are 12 electrons accommodated in six bonding molecular orbitals remaining six electrons uh, prefer to pair up in t2g as the delta o is large the higher delta o it is due to greater extent of overlap between e.g. metal orbitals with suitable ligand group orbitals and this suggests the stronger covalent characters of iron cyanide bond, FeCN bond and in this hexacyanoferrate 2 ion all the electrons are paired hence the complex is diamagnetic. These are the highlighting points and the last complex that is the hexamine cobalt 3 ion CONH36 3 plus. Cobalt is the central atom, atomic number of cobalt is 27, configuration is argon 3d7, 4s2, 4p0. In this complex, oxidation state of cobalt is 3 plus. In 3 plus oxidation state, its configuration is argon 3d6, 4s0, 4p0. Total number of electrons are 6 plus 12, that is 18. 
out of 18 electrons 6 electrons are contributed by cobalt 3 plus and 12 electrons are contributed by uh, 6 ligands now molecular orbital diagram energy increases from bottom to top these are the metal orbitals of cobalt 3 3d 4s 4p that is eg plus t2g a1g and t1u to the right side of diagram there are ligand group orbitals of 6 nh3 ligand and you know at the center there are molecular orbitals of hexamine cobalt 3 ion and this is the entire molecular orbital diagram for hexamine cobalt 3 ion so here at the bottom bonding orbitals are there at the top antibonding orbitals are there and you know t2g orbitals they are not involved in combination process not suitable to form sigma bond and therefore these orbitals remain as a non-bonding so altogether there are 18 electrons and 6 electrons present in 3d orbital this is the first second third fourth and fifth and last sixth one all the ligand group orbitals are completely filled so there are 18 electrons okay so now we try to fill the electrons in bonding orbitals non-bonding and anti-bonding orbitals so first of all electrons start filling from a1g then t1u eg up to eg total number of electrons are 12 then this is the 13th 14th and 15th electron now here again the delta o is larger because uh, here there is an appreciable overlap between eg orbital of metal ion and the suitable ligand group orbital so delta o is larger and therefore instead of entering electron in eg star electron pair up with the electron of dxy so this is the 16th electron then 17th and 18th all the electrons are paired there is no any unpaired electron and therefore this complex is also spin paired complex and diamagnetic complex now you can see here the molecular orbital diagram for hexacyanoferrate 2 ion and hexamine cobalt 3 ion these two diagrams are same total number of unpaired electrons are zero and both the complexes are diamagnetic so so in this way you study these six complexes and out of these complexes definitely one question will be asked for the university examination and all the best here we completed the molecular orbital diagrams of six complexes in next video we are going to discuss the complexes involving pi bonding